Hey guys, um, my name is Captain Spider. As you guys know, this is a very serious thing I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, and this is just something that really sucks. And not only for the fact that I was becoming a fan just of the channel that had this happen to them, but just the fact this person had lost their life or they couldn't. I guess you could say they couldn't handle the pressure of life anymore, and I'll get more into it in just a minute, um, but this is just something I wanted to address, because for people who don't know already, I want them to know, I want to be able to at least try to help people know, spread the word a little bit so people can understand what's going on. You're probably all questioning yourself, like, oh, what the hell does he mean? Um, as a lot of you know, one of my favorite YouTubers is Markiplier. And before you think this is some, like, fan tribute, uh, you can say it's kind of like that, but not the way you think it is. And as you guys know, Mark said he had to go on a hiatus for a little while because of something that happened. And that I actually found out from my friend Leanne. She texted me. She pretty much, and I gotta thank her because she really helps me out so much with finding out news about like Scott games, just games that come out in general, when release dates are, all that good stuff. And I thank her so much for it. Uh, go watch a couple of her, she does a lot of, she does some, she did an interesting first video. Hope she does more soon. She, Crystal Husky 13, go subscribe to her. She's great. But um, as a lot of you know though, I am a fan of Mark and they, he works closely with a channel called Syndigo. And recently, um, as you guys know, there's Matt, Daniel, and I can't remember the third guy's name. Uh, but um, recently, it was found out on September 16th, that day when Mark said that he's got something that happened to him. Daniel was found in his apartment, and he was dying because he tried to commit suicide from an apparent suicide attempt. He rushed to the emergency room to an intensive care unit. Um, his family was flown out. Uh, he had irreversible brain damage and the doctors told his family and his group that he wasn't going to make it. And unfortunately Today, um, I believe it was yesterday, he was taken off of life support. Um, yeah, Friday, September 18th, he was taken off life support. He passed away in peace with his family all there. And that's what happened. And, you know, it really sucks because, too, they announced, Syndigo announced, they're no longer making videos anymore. Which is really actually kind of a nice thing. I mean, it it sucks for fans because recently I just got into Syndigo. Like, I was really getting into them. Like, I love their skits. I love their songs that they were working on. One of the songs I liked was uh, the My best friend is a frag grenade. Na -na 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 I haven't actually had a chance to fully listen to the song yet, but, um... Yeah. But, um... Anyway... It really sucks that, unfortunately, this happened to him. And I'm not trying to steal anything from anyone. Like, this is just something that I personally wanted to do because I was starting to become a fan of this. And I just really felt bad. Because now, two, got, three of them, you know, they can't no longer entertain people. You know, it's really difficult for them. And it must be difficult not only for the family, but that group in general. And it's something that kind of makes you think, like, do I know someone else that's got depression or has attempted suicide? And that's something I want to talk about in this video, and it's a very touchy topic for me. I don't like talking about this type of stuff, so this is kind of really out of my comfort zone. So, you know, I just, I, um, so I'm sorry, it's just... It's a difficult topic for me, but 
this is a very serious thing that happens to people on a pretty much a daily basis. And a lot of times it could be stopped if people who know actually um, will go and tell someone and call them, call someone for help. Sure, your friend might be mad at you for doing that, but in the end it saves their lives. It saves their lives from anything bad happening. And it doesn't cause this horrible, horrible sadness in people's lives. I mean, some people, they just can't handle things sometimes. They think this is the answer. All that really happens is they just are... Their gift that they bring to the world is gone. And they go up to wherever you guys believe what happens after death. I'm personally a Catholic. I'll admit that right now. I would say he'd go to heaven. He did a lot of wonderful things for the YouTube community. And he helped so much. He like helped out Mark and every other YouTuber he's worked with too. All of them. And, you know, Daniel just, without him, you know, that group is just, it's not the same. They're going to put up a vlog, too, about all of this. Mark's going to put up some thoughts about this, but... If you know anyone out there who is suffering from this, and this is a very serious thing, if you do, call the number in the description. I will post it, uh, the suicide hotline. Um... But just, please, like, don't let a family lose someone that they love. You know, if we could stop that from ever happening, if we could stop it from happening where they don't leave early, they don't check out, it would be great. And they could get better. And that might be what my first live stream, well, that might be one of my charity live streams probably after I do the March of Dimes one. If I still can do a live stream, I don't know if I even can anymore because my software crapped out on me. But that's a different co conversation completely. It just, like I said, it just really sucks. And I feel really bad because, like, you know, if someone had known or someone had been there or if he had talked to them, he they could have saved them. I mean, most of the time, the happy ones are the ones that really are sad and they get um the other ones that truly are sad they don't show it ever like robin williams nobody saw him coming nobody saw that coming and i don't think anyone saw daniel coming and just i know i'm kind of just rambling on but this is a very serious thing and don't get me wrong this isn't gonna like change my like dynamic of youtube i'm gonna do like like everything in my power to fight this. I can't do that. Like, I, I'm gonna still be me. I'm me. I'm me. I'm still the stupid idiot I am. But I just wanted to take just this video to address what's going on and why Mark's on a hiatus. I think after something like this, he needs a break. It's just a lot of, like, losing someone that you know, that you cared about, that was your friend, to this. To the battle of depression or anxiety. It's a terrible, terrible thing. And I don't wish it upon anyone. Like I said, call the number down below if you know anyone who is experiencing this. But, um, that about does it. And Syndigo, like they said, they've been up since 2012. I just discovered them kind of when I watched a couple of Mark's videos and then I got into them and then I was trying to get into them and... Now that they're not going to be making videos, and the last video is going up probably, I would say, probably tomorrow. By the time you guys probably watch this, it'll be the 20th already, and that's probably when it'll be up their last video ever. I don't know, like, I don't know when Mark's coming back, though, because I know probably a lot of you are wondering when the hiatus is going to end. He needs time to heal. You know, give him the time. Give him all the time that he needs you know, a lot of times it does have a severe effect on other people too, and it makes them sad and all that stuff. So just give him time. This, I just wanted to address it though, in case you haven't already heard, but you might have already heard by the time you watch this. And by the time you watch this too, someone else could have lost their life. And that's just something that I don't think we could afford. 
I don't think anybody wants to have a sad family ever in their midst. So, like I said, click the link in the description to the suicide hotline. Call them or go on the website. I'm pretty sure there's a website and I'll look it up. I'll post it there. But, um, this was just something I wanted to do. Just I just wanted to say this because I know that there are a lot of people out there like that and they're not able to get help. But if you, like I said, do you know someone? Call. Call them. And if you guys want to talk to me ever, talk to me, like, about anything. I'm here for my audience, for you guys. Like, I'm not just some face on the internet. I want to help people in any way I can. And if talking to me will help, do it. I'm here for anyone. My friends know that. They could always come to me. And I want you guys to know that you can come to me. Comment. Message me directly, even. If you want. But, you know, take... Like, I'm... Uh, I don't know. But... If you ever need anyone, just go to someone. Don't let it bundle up inside you and eat you up. Let it be something that can be helped. Have hope. You can get help and you can get better. I'm gonna stop before I keep rambling on about the same things again, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for in the goats and for the making their videos for the past three years. Thank you to Mark for all the help that he had growing their channel. And I'd like to say goodbye to Sin the Go now. Thank you guys. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.